so I was just shuffling my cards and I thought I would do a tarot card reading and I felt in my head and in, in, there was an image of quite sad woman that this was for and this just popped out so I felt like now I'm about to pack my cards up but I really feel cool to doing a reading so I'm gonna do one so Okay. You're feeling you're feeling guilty about walking away from a situation. Potentially this is even giving you sleepless nights, causing you to really stress over things. I mean you've got your arm Knight of Cups. You've got your arm on and you're starting to ride into the future but you can't ground your ideas because you're still holding on to the past you're not able to walk away from it completely yet let's see what else wants to come through what will help you to walk away from your past karmas these old energies, what's going to help you walk away from these old energies, shift into a new paradigm? So we've got the King of Swords reversed. You need to let some more people in, you need to stop cutting potentially your parents off, potentially your sisters off, potentially your brothers off, potentially your this is your father your father wants to be a part of your life but in order to be a part of your life you've got to really heal the wounds that he his masculinity left on you now I'm not trying to say that his wounds are his, like your wounds are his fault because they're not um, actually when you have a wound created it's actually not that somebody else has wounded you it's that your expectation of what their reaction should be is what wounded you so expecting somebody to be a certain way or thinking somebody is a certain way having incorrect when you when you when you grow up and you learn and your outside environment tells you that it will when you're growing up your outside environment will tell you you the perfect dad should be this or that or this so when you grow up and you reach a certain age, you will realise, hold on, my dad isn't that perfect dad archetype. And parts of yourself will then start to become fragmented and actually hate him. Um, I know this sounds strange because you're thinking, hold on, I love my dad completely. But there is elements of you that will hate your dad because of the fact that he did not fit the perfect dad archetype same with your mother but that's she's not coming through in this reading so far um but yeah let's get the next card so you're working you're working you're making slow progress this is the eight of pentacles sorry you're making timely adjustments you're making the right kind of shifts, but I feel like maybe you're not necessarily dedicated enough to the material world. You're spending a lot of time trying to cut off karmic people and trying to deal with your emotions, which obviously I think is first and foremost, your emotions need to come first. But you're the fucking magician. 
your magic. Whatever you set your intentions on, whatever you're trying to manifest, you can manifest. Magic boo. I don't know why I said that, that's not really in my vocabulary, but it might be in yours. The one that got away. Ah, the one that got away is coming back as well. The one that got away is coming back to you. Whoa. The three of pentacles. <laughs> what the hell? I don't understand. No, I mean, I know this ain't for me because I cut off all my uh, comic connections in that kind of way. But um, this is for you, whoever is watching. The one that got away is coming back for you. This is kind of happy for me, like, not for me, but for you. And they're gonna give you an offer. They're gonna give you, they're gonna give you an offer, but you're gonna have to work through a lot of things and work together to get over some deep mount, deep mountains, some tall mountains, but you can see he's not even worried about that, so. Did we have the, no, we didn't. That was in the previous reading that I just done. Let me just get another cu uh, card. <laughs> I nearly said another cup. <laughs> You're blocking off your own destiny. You're blocking off your own destiny because of your father wounds. I don't know how more to the point I can get with that, but you're blocking off your own destiny. Um, any suggested actions to stop blocking off your destiny? Anything's possible, magician. Anything's possible, magic manifester. Any suggested approaches? Stop juggling. So this is the card of I want to say, I don't really want to say it, but have you been naughty? Have you been cheating? Or have you been cheated on? Because if you've been cheated on, then the answer is to just get the fuck out of this situation. Trust me, just get the fuck out of this situation. Nothing is going to re-emerge while you're there. But if you've cheated on somebody, then you need to come clean. You need to fess up. You need to... speak your truth. I feel like this is actually potentially your father is trying to protect you from somebody who he can see you who he can see is actually cheating on you and due to past father wounds and things like that you don't want to listen to him. You're not you're not listening to him and you don't care what he has to say, but he's actually trying to protect you. He wants you to put the pentacle down quite frankly I don't really know how to say it in any other way put that fucking pentacle down put that damn girl put that damn boy down whoever the fuck you're fucking with put them down because you don't need that in your life perhaps one of them is your family and one of them is a karmic pattern perhaps one of them is your partner and one of them is your karmic partner perhaps one of them is your mum and perhaps one of them is your dad and you're switching sides perhaps you are triangulating and you are acting quite narcissistically going between two people saying oh da -da -da -da. whatever the fuck you're doing stop it because this is blocking off your destiny you are stopping yourself from being the page of pentacles you could be the page of pentacles somebody doesn't necessarily have to be offering you something. You could be the page of pentacles and you could be the one that's giving other people sizable offers. But you're not because you're juggling with other pentacles. You're fucking around with someone else's pentacle. Don't fuck around with someone else's pentacles. Sorry, but cheating really gets me fucking roiled up. So if you're cheating on somebody, then please 
find the strength within yourself to walk away from the situation because I understand things happen things get hard but if you have feelings for one person and you're fucking with somebody else stop that shit choose yourself choose yourself stop doing that kind of shit because it's not healthy and it is not okay you're just bringing more pain into this situation you're not only breaking your own heart further you are breaking two other people's hearts so whether you're triangulating talking shit to one person and being nice to another person stop that shit because you are breaking further people's hearts now i myself i'm not trying to make it about me but i myself had situations quite often when i'm doing these tarot card readings i'm like hold on is this got a message a deeper message in here for me at all anyway so quite often in my own personal life I have a certain friend I'm not going to dish dirt but this certain friend likes to talk a lot about other people now when you're with that certain friend that likes to talk a lot about other people this is kind of a form of triangulation I guess I don't I can see why they are doing it and I'm not judging I'm not throwing any shade and I am happy that they feel able to vent to me and they find me a safe space to talk to however quite often I will recognise the fact that they are switching sides, they are going from one person to another person. So what I have found is the best option for myself to do is just to stay and try and remain unbiased in the situation. So when they're throwing shade on somebody else, just say, oh, okay, and also try and offer any explanations to why somebody might possibly be acting a certain way. Try and empathise with both sides of the story. Try and empathise now. Of course, this is really going to piss. Don't start saying this to people who have been abused, who are dealing with deep trauma, deep traumatic experiences, because they don't need that. What they need is for you to be a listening ear. You don't need to start going in and saying you've done this wrong. You don't need to start offering solutions. You just need to sit there and say, thank you for sharing your pain with me. Thank you for having a place. Thank you for feeling comfortable to come to that, to come to me for advice. Not for for advice, for reassurance. And then that's what I was going to say. That's why I said for advice. If they then ask you for any advice, then what you can say is, well, in my situation, I found that this helped me. Don't start saying, oh, well, I would do this, I do that, I do that. No, 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 no. Just say, I have found that when I was going through something similar or when I went through in the past, the best thing that I found to do was, etc., etc. So I hope that can help you. Um, I think that's it for today. I don't no I don't have my oracle cards in this room with me I can go get them uh, should I yeah hold on give me a moment I'll do a quick oracle card so I have got the angel prayers deck and I'm just going to be seeing what your ancestor or whoever it is that is trying to speak and talk to you right now would like you to sort of I don't want to say they want you to do anything because they're not forcing you to do anything but if they had any advice or any guidance for you what would that advice or what would that guidance be? be for you if they have any okay just be peaceful we've got Archangel Ariel coming through with the peaceful warrior um, also potentially healing I'm not sure if you were the group I'm not you're not a group but I've done three tarot card readings today I'm not sure if you are the people who came through that needed I don't think you are. You didn't need any sacral chakra healing, but I think this is good for you anyway. And solar plexus healing. You need a bit of a boost in the direction of knowing what you're doing, knowing where you're going, and the self-confidence, knowing that you can create and you can manifest your own reality. Um, 
but also just to stop stop trying to battle other people stop trying to I feel like you're trying to show other people how how much you could mean to them how good you could be for them anything like that because of the previous cards that we have had I feel like perhaps you're trying to convince somebody to come back to you or not necessarily to come back to you but to not choose another direction perhaps the other direction is perhaps your I feel like this is I don't know why I feel like this is definitely to do with a parent I feel like you're trying to stop a parent and this might be for a teenager you're trying to stop a father from leaving the family household to pursue another woman or something like that but this isn't your this isn't your journey and you just need to be peaceful whatever it is that you're trying to do just know that karma will karma will get them karma will deal with whoever you're dealing with you just need to focus on loving yourself and being peaceful and cherishing if you can you like do any tribal healing so if if you're somebody who resonates with um, listening to shamanic music, um, I'm not entirely. I feel like perhaps you're somebody who likes to indulge in recreational substances sometimes. And actually, now. I don't really necessarily condone this but spirit is actually and your ancestors are actually telling you that boo whatever you've got to do to relax whatever you've got to do to chill out you do because if it's gonna bring you peace and stop you from wanting to bite other people's fucking head off then actually Potentially, this is something that you might need to embark on. Um, some shamanic healing medicines, or some shamanic healing music. If you have an abalone shell, I don't know, but if you have an abalone shell, then use that to smudge because that's really going to help purify your energies. And just really get in touch with your inner goddess even if you're a masculine get in touch with your inner goddess let's see anything else that your ancestors have to tell you these ones they don't tend to have a lot of uh, even though they're angel prayers they don't have tend to have a lot because oh, they're not the angel answers that's why they don't have a lot of answers in them gosh I hate it when they all shuffle around in your hands you know what I mean I realised one day that I was always, I won't take the ones that have fallen on the floor. The ones that fall on the floor, I often, I've, I know if you were watching this before, I used to take the ones that fell on the floor, but I've worked out that Spirit doesn't want those ones. Um, that's why it's thrown them out. But, yeah. Oh, I was going to say, I feel like I was always supposed to be a tarot card reader, because even when I'm not doing this, I want to be shuffling tarot cards. Right. Whoa. Okay. Take a leap of faith. Your angels are fully supporting you with whatever it is that you are thinking that you are going to be doing. So. Wow. This. It doesn't actually have an angel's name on here. It's just leap of faith so your ancestors actually are using the purple flame this comes through again I was using this analogy earlier so your guides and your ancestors are using the purple flame to communicate with you about potential timelines that you could have been on 
and to show you that you are actually on your best possible timeline that you can be on even though it may not feel like it right now so I think I'm going to finish off this reading here thank you for watching um bye